So we've actually already looked at the differences between expressions, equations, formulae and identities. Uh, we looked at that a couple of sections ago. Um, but this section is focused on how we work with identities. Um, so it's a good opportunity to remind ourselves uh, what the difference is between an equation and an identity. And I'm particularly pointing out the equals sign here and the equivalence symbol here. Okay, So you have the equals having just the two lines and here uh, having three lines for the equivalence. So what does it really mean? How do we use it? So an equation has solutions, okay? Um, and we usually kind of think about that as like a one solution or two solutions or three solutions or four solutions. So uh, depending on the type of equation that you've got. So for example, uh, if you've got an equation like 2x plus 1 is equal to 3, then this is an equation because it has a solution. There is one particular value of x that will solve that. We can subtract 1 from both sides. We can then divide through by 2, so we can get 2x is equal to 2, and then divide through by 2, so x is equal to 1. So this equation has one solution, x equals 1. We could have another example where we looked at the equation x squared is equal to 9. Now this equation has two solutions because x can either be plus or minus 3. Okay, so if you square 3 you get 9, if you square minus 3 you get 9. So that's got two solutions. Now, the moment that if I had something like 2x plus 1, and then I put the equivalency symbol in, and then the 3, then what this does is it leads to nonsense. Because what this would be suggesting is that 2x plus 1 is always 3, no matter what value of x you substitute in. Now, of course... That wouldn't make any sense, because if this was true for all values of x, I could choose a value of x. I could go, right, x is equal to 2. Uh, what happens? Well, in the left-hand side, I get two lots of 2 plus 1, which is 5. And I'm saying that that is the same as 3, Okay, which is obviously nonsense. Okay, So they are not equivalent. So, we can't really use the equivalency symbol in that way. What it is used for is for you to be able to say that one expression is the same as another expression. So, example would be this. So, let's say we had uh, 2x plus 2. Okay? This is an expression because there's no equal sign with it. Uh, there's no equivalency symbol with it. So that's an expression. Another expression would be two lots of x plus 1. Okay, These are two separate expressions. But the thing is that no matter what value of x I substitute in here, I would get exactly the same value if I substituted it into here. Okay. Now, I could choose a value just to kind of test it. Obviously, testing just one value would never be enough, but we could test a value. So let's say we had x is equal to 5, for example. Then on the left-hand side, I've got 2 lots of 5 plus 2, which is 12. And on the right-hand side, I've got 2 lots of 5 plus 1. Now, 5 plus 1 is 6, 2 lots of 6 is 12. And so I get precisely the same value. We should be able to look at those two expressions and say to ourselves, well, they have to be the same. Because if I were to factorise this, I would get this. I would factor the two out of both terms, and I'd have x plus 1 in the bracket. And likewise, if you started over here and I said, right, expand the brackets out, 2 lots of x is 2x, 2 lots of 1 is 2. So the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side. The two expressions are equivalent.
And so I can say that 2x plus 2 is equivalent to 2 lots of x plus 1. And this is an identity. OK, so what you're trying to do is you're saying that the left hand side will give me the same result as the right hand side for all values of x. So let's consider another example. Well, I could have something that says, um, let's say I've got x uh, times 3x plus 2. Now, if I were to expand those brackets out, I would have x times 3x is 3x squared, x times 2 is 2x. So this expression is equivalent to this expression. OK? Now, of course, um, if you were to treat this as an equal sign, <clears throat> then... So if we go back to this example here, if you were to treat that as an equal sign, then on your left-hand side, if I just leave that as 2x plus 2, and then expand out that, I get 2x plus 2. And then you could say, right, if I was trying to solve this equation, well, I could subtract 2 from both sides. And then, uh, well, I could subtract 2x from both sides. OK, so I would never use that as a checking tool, OK, but essentially this is what you would get, that both sides could be reduced to zero, and so you get zero is equal to zero, OK? But essentially what you're doing is you're just identifying that both sides are the same. One expression is equivalent to another. So in some ways it's better to rather than think of this as one equation which I can then solve, to think of this as two expressions that we are saying are the same. So rather than thinking of here is an equation to solve, here are two separate things, okay, but they are the same.